feeling this week? It's a short week. I know you're a physical back and you're expecting probably a physical game this mm -hmm. week. So how are you feeling starting off? Yeah, I feel good. I feel better this week than I did last week around this time. So I guess that's a good sign. But I have a quick one coming up, so I got to come stay on it and be ready. What do you expect from Pittsburgh's defense this year? Obviously, they're always a strong mm -hmm. unit. You, know, you guys are going to have to plow against that. Same thing as every year. They're a great unit up front, um, have a great players, very physical, very fast team. You know, they're, they're, they're a great team, uh, especially on defense. So it'd be times for us like every time we play them, but we look forward to it. What do you have to do physically, Nick, to, to uh, get ready for a game four days after, mm -hmm. you know, a hard game for you on, on Sunday? Uh, hit the recovery hard. Uh, you, you got to speed up the process. Usually I kind of take my time getting to my recovery later in the week, but um, with it being the game being two days away, I got to speed everything up. Came in yesterday, came in today, did some extra stuff to get my body right, and I should be good by Thursday. And Nick, you, in hindsight, with, with everything that happened in that last minute 55, did, did you think about not scoring there? Did that go through your head? I know you had that same mm -hmm. situation last year and the year before. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I probably, I probably shouldn't have scored right there, honestly, looking back at it. Um, it cost us the game. Uh, a lot of things went wrong, not not just one thing, but collectively as a unit, as a team, we could have all did things different. But, I mean, it's only a problem because we didn't win, you know, so but, I probably should have went down. But as I recall in the Houston game two years ago, you were delivered that message before mm -hmm. the play, not to score. Uh, I can't remember. It was a while back, you know. The game's game, game a little different. Uh, I think we're about three against Houston. So I, I wanted to end it right there. Is that hard to throttle down? When the yard again is two, and you're going mm -hmm. full speed ahead, it's not a lot of runway. Is that, how realistic is that? It would have been tough. I think the um, first down marker was at the one or two, and um, the goal line's right there, too. I, mean, I, I probably could have got down. Probably been third and third and short, third and inches. But I mean, it probably possibly could have happened. I couldn't have went out of bounds because people were behind me. They would have pushed me in or something like that. So probably should just drop down after I made the cut. Did you think about this right afterward or after the game or what? I didn't think about it until we lost, you know. Then, then kind of, I had to reflect on it and uh, see where we could have did things different. Now, that was definitely one of them. But should that have occurred to you, or shouldn't that be something that uh, comes in from Kevin to Jacoby to you, and they say, "Hey, don't support here." I mean, we all work together. We all communicate. But at the end of the day, I mean, I've been in a situation before, and so I, mean, I can't really put on anyone but myself at this point. So, I think the biggest thing is I, I, I was I was aware of what was going on. I just. I thought I thought the game was over for being honest. So. Glass half full on this scenario. How important is it to not ruminate about this? And just kind of you know let it go and move on. I mean, going up two scores is usually a. Yeah, I mean, I was over till I came up here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I'm, I'm ready to move forward to next to the next game up. On a short, Nick, on a short week like this, is, is it help as a division opponent in terms of preparation, in terms of familiarity with them and everything? Uh, I would say it does because the week's so short and we play them twice a year since I've been here the last five years. So, I mean, we are familiar with them, but, you know, every year is different. So we can't take that and just run with it. we got to, you know, still come in and put the work in and have everything ready to go. Is that a blessing, though, coming off such a heartbreaking loss like that that you guys have to get right back on it and yet you're playing Thursday night? So you're basically, mm -hmm. you don't have an opportunity to yeah. get on it. I think it's better from that aspect just to get the bad taste out of your mouth and, uh, get on the field as fast as possible. Just, um, just forget completely about last week. So, why do you think you and Kareem weren't on the field at all together after having success in Week One? Uh, that's not my call. Do you think that could? Do you think it'll be a week by week kind of thing or some game? I, I have no idea. Did you? You guys got seemed like though you did get stronger at the end of the game in the fourth quarter. Was mm -hmm. there? Was that a benefit of? I don't know, did you feel as fresh as usual? Or I mean. Yeah, I felt good. I think Kareem felt great too going to the fourth. I think just um, splitting the carries and uh, the guys up front being so physical for us and just, um, you know, just punishing them every, every play to the fourth quarter ends up opening up for us every time. Nick, you've been through a lot of Steelers games now. Mm -hmm. Is it different? Is it just another game on the schedule or the very next game or is it more than that? That's probably all, all of the above. You know, it is the next game up, but we understand it's a division opponent and I mean, I understand it's Pittsburgh, too, so I mean, I can't say I don't see that, but it's still another game. Going to be weird with no Big Ben there? I haven't even thought about that. <laughs> yeah. How about no TJ no Watt? Yeah. <laughs> no, I guess we'll see. <laughs> How motivating is it to play Pittsburgh, though? Is that like, you know, I asked this question earlier, but um, is that the most hated rival in the division for the Browns to you guys or uh, to you personally, or is it somebody else? I don't want to give anybody bullets in the yeah. morning cereal necessarily, but, you know, 
For me, it's no different. I take every game as it is, and I don't look at it as a robbery or you know whatever. I just kind of go out there and want to do my best. So. You said you were over that loss, Nick. Did, because it was so crushing, did it take you longer? Did you have to do anything to get yourself past it because of the way it ended? I think just after that game, I kind of really sat on it, and you know, I allowed myself to just the, the pain and you know just uh, all of it that came along with the loss. So, but you know, got to move on. Does that make you? Even- Make you even hungrier for Thursday? Is that what you think? That you know, feel like you know, bad loss, bad taste in your mouth, to go out and really get after it on Thursday. I mean, yeah, we want to get out, a taste out of our mouth. So. Uh, so you talked about um, you know what happened on that particular play. Amari uh, stood up there and, and mentioned that he should have gotten the onside kick, and then Jeremiah talked about the touchdown. So I guess what I'm saying is, it just seems like you guys are owning what happened in the game and just coming out and really, you know, just taking it. So I'm just wondering why do you think that that's important to do that? I mean, that's all we can do. We can't point the finger because we all took a part in it. Um, we all played a role in what happened. And I mean, yes, yeah, collectively as, as a team, you know, everybody has something to do with it. Did, uh, I know you guys have been in Jacoby's corner the whole time, but did he show you something, how well he played um, against the Jets after maybe not the best opener? Yeah, I thought he had a great game. I mean, I, I don't think he missed a pass. I mean, we had some drops, but I think on his part, he did everything great. And that's what we've all seen here in practice through our camp and all the time. So, yeah, he had coming back in. Did you have any doubts that he would? I had no idea he hurt his ankle. <laughs> <laughs>